Good morning guys. Bright and early, just getting ready to go on another hike with Stan. That happened because I put the snow brush away. Yeah, that was over a week ago that I put the snow brush away. Now I gotta go dig it out of the garage. <laughs> Let's do this. Another hiking preseason adventure. There's still probably half a foot, maybe more of snow. That's what we're gonna go check in the bush today. And uh, just looking for more old 1800s roads. It's cold out. It, it has been such a weird spring. We were detecting last week multiple times and then everything refroze and it snowed last night. So, you know, we're just as gung-ho as anybody to get out there and start digging colonial guys, but uh, we're just not there. Temperature wise, frozen ground wise, gonna be a couple more weeks. So you're gonna have to bear with us. Yeah, you see how good this road was? It was nice road. Okay, why don't you give us a breakdown of what road we're on and why we're here? I'd have to show you the map, Gary, but Well we don't we don't want to show anybody the map. We don't want them to know where we are per se, but we're heading off into the bush on a 1890 to 1910 road that led to a site that we access off the pipeline way over there. So we're going over hill and over dale. Looking for anything uh, that areas that we haven't explored before, just you know we might see something from the logging days or previous that would be worth detecting. Precisely. They're here every year. nice bridges geez that's all pretty new I haven't walked over here since you and John and I come in here remember yeah Dam? Yeah. Well, it, water used to be that high. Yeah, so there's a, there's a dam over here and the water's down about five feet. So what, I, what I'm thinking just out loud here to stand is I said we should do each side of this main waterway. We know it's not the main route that was used, but I said you never know what guys were down here and took their, you know, they had their own route, their own little camp set up. You never know what we're going to find. And I've got a real hankering to come back and do both sides of this main waterway here. So in the next week or two, I think I'm going to do that. A really cool limestone uh, glacial dropstone here behind us along the trail. Look at the water marks. That is from running water but this thing is standing up here in the middle of the forest. So definitely glacial, definitely really old. Like, I mean, that could have been from a million years ago. Who knows? Cool though, it's just sitting here. We're gonna to get to this intersection over here and we can get going down the trail and that's where the cabin is. Just walking the trail here, uh, it looks suspiciously open and we know there's turn of the century homesteads, a couple of them along the way in here. So we're keeping our eyes open for anything, metal, fences, clearings.
this side of the water tower. This is the road, this is the road. And this is how they got over to where our stone walls are, the pipeline. Yeah, we're on the old road right here. 1900. Watch it, you're walking on it. Yeah, I see some cans right there. Piece of glass. Here's a well right here. Past the well, Stan. Did I? Oh, yeah. Well. Right here, there's even a bucket in the well. Look at this. <laughs> they left the bucket in the well. I'm gonna take a picture of that before I pull it out. So like we said, a few old homesteads in here. Uh, well with the bucket still in it and then behind me you guys will see the stone wall just going off into the distance there We'll see how far that goes Wreck the finger. Check the wind. Kimosabe! Dude really every time we stop you got to do that <laughs> This is all unexplored new area right here guys anything we find now is new to us open for rock walls. I get the feeling the last guys to come through here were probably turn of the century hunters. Guys out here taking moose as Stan was just telling me we saw some moose scat on the trail back there. Nobody raised beef right turn of the century you just hunted it was a subsistence lifestyle up here. Dude, I was I just turned the camera on to say this looks like the perfect hunt camp area. There's a nice moose pond right down here. We're thinking the same. There's always something to detect. We just have to find it. Just by the way these rocks are dude. Look at it right here. What I was just talking about. It's a little frosty, not the freshest, but there it is. Moose scat. This, this is moose tracks right here. Heading right down to the pond. The old road comes along right there. Stands on it, another big open swamp down there. Dude, really? It's way too cold for that. So we gotta head down to that pond and walk around the edge of it. That's where the old road went, down there. So pretty. It's, it's so lost back here. You... 
Stan and I were just postulating that there could be speckled trout in here. We're gonna have to come back and throw a line. We've seen at least a, a couple dozen piles of moose poop along this trail. It is polluted with moose in here. I'm surprised that every pond we come to, we stop, we look out that we haven't seen one. But I'd have to get Stan to stop talking long enough to, to sneak up on one. <laughs> Look at the thorns on that one. That's nasty. Eighteen nineties stone wall right here, guys. A substantial one. Turn around, Stan. Here, hold on. Turn around. Let me get that for you. Okay. Have a decoration. It was oh. right, right on your hood. Camouflage <laughs> outfit, dude. Camouflage <laughs> outfit. Again, it was like, look how clear it was. Stan walked right by this one. That's like a really old bucket. 1800s all the way. So we were just walking along the edge of the swamp here and Stan noticed a bucket way over there. So he went to check it out and he yelled back a uh, 1800s bucket for sure. There's a really weird depression in here. We can't figure out. It doesn't look glacial but it's way too big to be a foundation or anything so we're confused. You can tell by everything from the attachments to the base. Late 1800s? Yeah. Oh, the imagination's working, the wheels are turning. Look at the beaver work over there. He's cleared that whole zone out. All right, so we've done a lot of walking, guys. Didn't uh, find a lot of stuff to put on camera the last couple miles here. So we are on the main trail heading back out now. It's been a full morning, but again, we've got more ideas for the future. So, I mean, give it two more weeks. We did still see snow in the bush where we want to hit our main uh, Voyager spot. So two more weeks and then we'll be out here, guys. We'll be digging Colonial, all for you guys, for your enjoyment. Stay tuned.